<clears throat> but yeah, I just, I hope that the games all come out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No, drop it. Run. Run. Oh Jesus. What the f- Why? Why did that happen? I didn't want to drop it. I just, I wanted to roll away. Why did that happen? Why? I was... Now I gotta start all over again. I don't... I don't know what happened. Alright. Don't know why I got out of the barrel there, but... Guess that's okay. All we have to do is uh, every single thing all over again. That's wonderful. Hey, listen. Listen to what? I uh, don't know what I'm supposed to listen to. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I guess we're going to do this all over again. There's a glitch. Where is there a glitch? I don't want a Mega Evolution of Jinx, man. That would be... That... I feel like that would not be the prettiest thing around the block, you know? So I, I personally, at least, do not really want to see a Mega Jinx. <clears throat> okay, so apparently there's two ways we can go. We can go this way, too. So I guess we'll go this way this time and see if it's any faster. Hopefully it is. <clears throat> Maybe we can actually just go through the outside. What year did I start playing Zelda? Uh, probably a long time ago, actually. My first Zelda game was... Um, I'd like to say Ocarina of Time, but I don't remember if I played, like, A Link to the Past or whatever the... What is it? The SNES one. Is it A Link to the Past? I think it is. A, yeah. Link to the Past is the SNES one with the Dark World and stuff, so... I'd like to say it's that one, but I don't remember. So I'm just going to say the first one that I remember was uh, Ocarina of Time. Or Ocarina. People say it differently. I don't really have a preference. I just say Ocarina. That was probably the first one. Pixelmon? Pixelmon? What's a Pixelmon? I don't know what's a... Oh, wow. This way is a lot easier. <laughs> you literally don't have to do anything this way. Why is this... How is this even a way to go? Like, this is just that you literally have to do nothing. You just go through doors, and that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's been said that no, none of the Kalos region Pokemon are going to get Mega Evolutions. That doesn't mean in other games, because someone apparently commented, uh, and it got, like, thumbs up or something. It was, like, top comment that next generation might have some that, I don't know, probably, but... At least this generation, no Kalos Pokemon will have Mega Evolutions, so, yeah. Doesn't mean that next generation we won't see any. Doesn't actually mean that uh, in Pokemon, like, whatever the third game is, we won't see more, because as far as I know, Mega Evolutions aren't actually a new entry. They're, co they're considered a form, I think. I don't know if they're actually, like, a new entry in the Pokedex, or if they're just a form. Because if they are a form... Uh, we could actually see, like, new Mega Evolutions be introduced in between games. Like, for example, in uh, Pokemon Z, or whatever the third installment of the games is called, uh, we could actually just see uh, more Mega Evolutions, if it's a form. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, God. Did I get caught? Oh, okay. I guess not. <clears throat> so I guess when he sees you, you just, you just kind of have to stand still. But, hey, look at that. Another person uh, asks about Sacred Gold. I guess people just join the stream uh, as we go along, so I can't really blame you for asking, but <clears throat> I've just answered a couple of times. I think on, mm, I want to say Monday, I'll upload some more Sacred Gold. I said Sunday earlier, but I'm not really sure. <clears throat> so yeah, probably Monday, I'll upload some more Sacred Gold. I'm really scared right now, man. These, uh, these goblin men, pretty scary, pretty scary guys. Huh. All right, I guess I should just go and hug the wall. Oh, gosh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, there's a fire. There's gonna be a fire if I get caught. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Okay, I'm just gonna let him walk past me. Hopefully, this he doesn't notice this barrel that was just placed here. This, this barrel was literally just... Placed here. Please don't know. Oh, gosh. I think we're good. Yes. We're home free. Let's go, boys. We're going to get our sword. <clears throat> good night, Guaya, man. It's like 5 p.m. here. I'm assuming you're somewhere where it's pretty late. But uh, it's only 6 for me. So good night. <clears throat> Maybe the UK or something. I don't know. 
I don't know why whenever I think of like people watching streams, I only think of like people in the US and Britain, so or England, whatever you like to call it, I guess in Europe. Yeah, just Europe in general, not really just the UK, but um <clears throat> Uh, I never really think of, like, other countries, just because it seems like it's so far away. I wouldn't think people all the way in other countries would be watching Sweden. That's pretty cool. I like traveling a lot, so I like learning about other people and where they're from and stuff like that. <clears throat> I've only ever traveled to places inside the U.S., so, yeah. I, I love to travel to, like, Europe and, like, Asia sometime. At least, like, Japan and maybe, like, I don't know, Japan, Korea... Don't know about any other, really, Asian countries. Um, well, I do know other Asian countries. I just don't know if I would travel to any others. Uh, maybe China, like Hong Kong or Taiwan, maybe. I don't know. I just like traveling. I want to travel the world someday. I think a lot of people like traveling, though. Come to Germany. Let's have a beer. I don't know what accent that was, but it definitely wasn't German. <laughs> I don't know my accents, man. <clears throat> Japan! I actually also already answered uh, that I will be Let's Playing mainly Pokemon Y, but I'm going to show all of the version differences, so it'll pretty much be like you'll get to see through the playthrough like both games, at least for the main events and version exclusives and stuff like that, so it'll pretty much be like going through both games. And I will actually be going technically through both games, <clears throat> because the one, or Pokemon X, which is the one I'm not playing, I'm going to be streaming... <clears throat> so that I can get all the all the clips, you know, for the version exclusive stuff. Anyway, there's my sword, so now we get to fight uh, Mr. Green Green Goblin. <laughs> He's literally Green Goblin, I guess. I don't even know. Alright, so one cool thing in this game that I really, really like about the battle system is the whole, uh... Okay, I shouldn't have even let that guy pick up a sword, but... Die! Yeah. It's like when he's about to hit you and you do the little the spin around the back and slash him in the back. It's, it's really cool, I don't know. I don't think any other games have done that. Have they? I, I don't remember. Maybe Twilight Princess had something similar, but I don't think uh, Skyward Sword did. This is really cool, man. I just kicked his butt. I really did. It's kind of easy, though. I don't think we battle the bird yet, though. The bird is definitely for later on when we come back to the Forsaken Fortress. Spoiler! We come back here later. Hey, look! It's the girls of Windfall Island! Everybody loves the girls! Especially Link! Hey, He only cares about the one. His sister. That is a weird face. Link makes some awesome faces in this game, man. That's the one thing I love about this game, is like... It's not that it doesn't take itself seriously. It's just that, like, the fact that it's like this cartoonish art style allows them to just do these, like, wacky sort of faces without it looking too weird. Like, I just really like Link in this game. He's just so awesome. Even his mouth glows. I'm actually using the Elgato capture card, not the HD PVR, because I don't like the HD PVR. Not the best thing ever made. Oh, excuse me. I don't know why his mouth glowed, though. But I actually really like the cartoon style in this game. It just lets them do these wacky things, especially with this guy right here. The wackiest of them all. Throw him in the gutter. So close yet so far away. We got to our sister, we just don't get to save her. Kind of sucks. Wait, do we really not save them yet? I thought we actually did save them. And here we are in the middle of the ocean. And now we see probably my favorite character in this game. This guy's just so awesome. Link! Link! Wake up, Link! Rinku! How do they say Link in Japan? Is it like Rinku? Because I know when you, uh... Huh, I don't know, like L's, they usually say him R's. That's weird. He's like on the boat, but he's not moving with it. <laughs> so he's just, like the boat, he's just like hovering slightly above the boat. Have you come to your senses yet? And here he is, the king of red lions. This guy is awesome. I love this character, especially like his voice. It's just so cool. And then, of course, there's the whole story to him, which we will learn eventually, but... 
Yeah, I think they just, they literally made him just to be so awesome. Like, he's a boat, but he's still such a big part of the story, and he's just such a cool character. And he actually looks really, really sweet in this game, like in HD. Oh man, he just, like, everything just looks so awesome. I don't know why everyone's eyes glow, though. It's kind of weird. And, of course, that man there, that was Ganon. The very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark Realm, the ancient legends speak of. But yeah, I don't know if this is like the same Ganon from previous games. I guess it would be the same one from like... I guess his... is it... which game is it that uh, the, the timeline splits? I think it's Ocarina of Time. Either Link wins or Link fails and it splits the timeline into three different ones. I think this is the one where Link wins and then... I don't know, the world is flooded apparently, the old Hyrule is flooded. <clears throat> and then there's another timeline where it's where Link loses and then it becomes like the Legend of Zelda the original because then Ganon like won and you have to reseal him, I, I don't know. And then there's obviously the one where Link uh, goes back in time and then there's Majora's Mask. I don't know, there's a lot of timelines, it's kind of confusing. <clears throat> but uh, if you just look up the timeline, I'm sure you'll understand it perfectly. I actually knew it pretty well, I just kind of forgot it. But here we are on Windfall Island! This place has got my favorite music in the game, I feel. Actually, the ocean theme is my favorite, but this is my second. I'm actually going to turn it up. It's just so nice. I remember just playing through this game for the first time ever. Da -da, da -da. Yeah, I'm not going to ruin it for you guys, though. Especially because the audio is, like, desynced. <clears throat> I don't know, I just really like it. It's so nice. I don't know what instrument it is. Here's Creepy Old Man. How are you? Oh, if you please, young boy, then please help me. Please listen to my tale of war. Okay. I love that you can say, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> Alright. My sweet, sweet daughter, my only daughter, poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. Okay. That's wonderful. Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know? Please, hey, my poor daughter, I am begging you. This guy does not look like the type of guy that would have a daughter, you know? Kind of, I'm on to you, man. I get, his hitbox is too big, so we can't get any closer to him. That's weird. We can get really, really close up to Nico, but apparently this is the closest we can get to creepy old man. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. <clears throat> but, uh, I don't, I don't think he's the man with the daughter. He doesn't look like the type of guy that would have a daughter to me. You know what I want to go do is go talk to all those crazy kids. They're... They're really awesome. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we don't get the Wind Waker just yet. We get that over in Dragon Roost, but... If we did have the Wind Waker, we can make this guy here dance. And get a nice little melody. You know, Elvis with his big bandage on his nose. Ooh! No, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Oh. Actually, he kind of looks like Bruno Mars or something. He's got that... I don't know. He's Tot. Let's just call him Tot. Charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, a two, a one, two, three, four. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? A magic dance. A magic dance. You just can't seem to dance. I don't care. All right, so we're going to go save the kids. I think this is actually where uh, a wonderful character is. So I guess before saving the kids, we got to we gotta save this guy. There he is. There's the man. With the plan. How do we even use the Tingle Tuner in this? Is it just the gamepad? I would assume it is. The gamepad is pretty much... Functions exactly like the Game Boy Player did, so... That's pretty cool. I would assume that's how it works. Huh. I see the same green clothes and the same green hat. By the look of you, I'd say, sir, could you by chance be... A fairy? Goodness! Did you just feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it? Don't worry, Tingle knows without you telling him, sir. Yes, sir. Tingle is my name. Yeah, this is this is Tingle. This is Tingle. Oh, it got replaced by the Tingle bottle. Oh, I didn't really know that. There's no more Tingle Tuner. It's kind of uh, disappointing. I like the Tingle Tuner. Alright, so if we rescue Tingle, he will give us a fabulous prize! So I guess we're gonna save him. Just because we want a bottle, apparently. So, uh, let's, let's get in here. Push that button down, baby! <clears throat> oh, 
I might live stream League of Legends again sometime. I'm not sure when, but let's see what we get from this wonderful. So awesome. Tingle, tingle, kululimpa. I just always like when he does that. Alright, so this is the replacement to the Tingle Tuner, I guess. The Tingle Bottle. Using Miiverse, you can insert a message you've written and send it out to the sea for someone unknown to receive. Oh, so is there even any secret stuff with the Tingle Tuner kind of thing anyway? That guy just gave us a little heart. That was actually pretty cute, Tingle. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Can you just can you go away, please? Just, just go away. One thing I wonder, is Tingle always the same Tingle in all the games? Because, uh, he doesn't seem to age. He's a very weird guy. I don't know, Tingle's... Tingle's very weird. Just say that. I don't know, there's not really much to describe Tingle. He's just so weird. He's kind of off. Alright, so we can now send messages via the Tingle... whatever. Allow Tingle bottles from anyone. Okay, so I guess if you guys have this game, you can send me some bottles. Uh, apparently it's random though, so... Oh wait, you can do friends only, so... Alright, I'll just do anyone. Allow tingle bottles with spoilers. Wait, you can send spoilers? How do you send spoilers? I don't... Alright, whatever. I don't really care, I've already played the game, so if I get spoiled, uh... I don't really mind. <clears throat> so I guess I'll receive some tingle bottles from people. I don't know how this works, actually, so let me go to my items real quick. I'm gonna throw on that tingle bottle, and... Shazam! How do we do this? Um... Navigate using the Wii U gamepad. Alright, so if you don't have a gamepad paired, please use another controller to return to the game. Um I don't I don't know what we can do here. Link is just kinda staring. I don't know what Link is doing. I guess the game is just frozen while we write something. So I'm just gonna draw something and just send it out real quick. Uh <clears throat> let's draw a little smiley face. You know, nothing too bad. And then we'll put Link's hair on it. And uh, there we go. We're going to send it out. Send. Uh-huh. There. I'm just trying to figure out what this is. I know you guys right now just see Link standing still. Oh. Uh, apparently I haven't even started Miiverse, so I guess we'll just go back. All right. Very fun. Fun, uh, fun thing. Uh, my me or Wii U whatever account is munching butts. Because someone took munching orange, apparently. So... Next best thing, am I right, guys? That's, uh, if you want to add me there. I don't really have anyone. I don't play it that often, so don't really have anyone added on my Wii U. I want to play a lot more of uh, Rayman Legends, though. That game's really cool, man. I haven't played a lot of it. <clears throat> I think we can actually pull this back, and there's a secret here. Yep. This is probably just a ton of rupees, so I probably shouldn't grab this yet. Um, someone let me know what this is, because if it's a ton of rupees, I don't really want to grab it. Because I don't want my wallet to get filled up right now. You're about to get a new follower. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Don't know if you mean follower as in on Twitch, but uh, that's what I assume. <clears throat> okay, so there's a rupee right there. Oh, is this really where the Picto box is? Huh. I didn't know that. I didn't remember that. That is if I can even navigate my way around here. Oh, God! What are you... Oh, no. And I chose the wrong way. All right. Sup, King of Red Lions? <laughs> How you doing, man? Did I get a sale? No, not yet. Don't worry, I'll, I'm on it, though. I got this. I'm not dead, man. I just kind of got thrown into water. I thought the rat steals your money, but I guess he doesn't. He just kind of plunges you back into the water. <clears throat> um, If you do get a Wii U, though, I... I don't know, there's not that many games yet. I recommend you wait until, like, Christmas time. This game is honestly pretty worth it if you've never had Wind Waker before, or have it, even so, and you haven't played it in a while, you just want to kind of remind yourself. This game is awesome to get. I actually really enjoy this so far. I mean, it's the same gameplay experience as Wind Waker, but it's just really refreshing to have it be, like, in HD and have all these, like, really pretty colors and, and shading and stuff like that. <clears throat> but, uh, other than this game... Um, in the, in Christmas time, or, I guess, holiday time, for those that don't celebrate Christmas. Is it holiday time? I don't even know how you say that. Basically, around, like, November, December-ish, um, Super Mario 3D World comes out. That is gonna be really awesome. Um, there's actually a couple of other cool games for the Wii U already. I think Pikmin 3, I don't know, I haven't played it myself yet, but I, a lot of people have told me that it's really good, so... 
that's probably a good game to get. Rayman Legends is awesome. Personally, I don't like it on the Wii U that much, uh, just because the gamepad controls aren't that awesome. I don't know. But uh, it's still a really cool game. I don't want to run into the same rat. I'm probably going to end up running into the same rat right here. I just don't want to go... Okay, so I just got to keep going straight and not go left. Because I know the rat is to the left, so... <clears throat> all I have to do is not go to the left there at the end. Um, actually, I think the rat is right here. No, he's not. Okay, whatever. So, uh, hopefully we can find the Picto box. I'm really not sure where it is. I think it might be over here? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Alright. Just keep going straight, apparently. My bad, guys! My bad! Your comments didn't come through close enough. Or, fast, fast enough. Did I really, like, keep saying not to go left and then I just went left? I thought it was in the corner. I thought the rat was in the corner. I didn't see the wood, to be honest. I do know that there's wood on the floor when there's the rat, but... Or, you know, the little... The, the, the trap door. <sighs> oh, well. Guess, uh, third time's the charm here. We did the, uh, the one thing. You can see the wood. You know, I'm really glad there's a facepalm on Twitch. I think that really adds to this whole experience of uh, screwing up on the Wind Waker. I'd like to see you guys try and play this though. I bet I bet you'd probably do better than me to be honest, but it'd still be nice. <laughs> I love it when people say like, you know what, you try and play this. Gosh, it's not as easy as it looks. And then like they play it and it turns out they're like gods at the game and just like tear through it in like a second. I bet most of you guys could probably tear through this game though. I I'm not very good at it. <clears throat> Actually, um, I'm just not very good at memory, I guess. Okay, so, I'm supposed to go to the very end of this. I guess there's a wooden plank. I honestly didn't see the wood. The wood is apparently right there. Yep, there it is. I was just worried about going through and getting the Picto box, so. Okay, straight through the end. Okay, I don't, oh, wow. Um, I didn't even know this is where it was. Alright, so, uh, you know, this isn't a scary room or anything. People apparently died in here. That's, that's fine. Link, Link's alright. I love Link's face in this game. He just randomly does his little puffy lips, too. Well, they're not actually, he just opens his mouth randomly, but it's like always his little wavy thing. I don't know why he does that. It's kind of cool, though. Alright, what do we have in the magical chest? We get the Picto Box! It can record up to 12 pictographs! Alright, so I guess we can press ZR, apparently. I don't even know. Let's let's equip it, though. 